There's a group of us from the uh, from from Tumut, local Wiradjuri men out on Arglong. So, and we're doing flora fauna surveys using a basic method with Mason Crane. The definition of what you mean by hollow, because you can have little tiny hollows. We've set up a plot, uh, 50 metres by 20 metres. So it's a monitoring plot, and we'll come back later on in the future to actually inspect that plot. So we've sent two people off looking at polos. We've sent two people off looking at, at logs and we've sent two people off looking at the leaf litter on the ground and another two people sent looking at scats. In that square, what kind of scats can you see in there? Um, over here we've got some horse scat, which is not a good thing. We also have some kangaroo. We've been looking for some plants today and we found a silver wattle here. We also found a hyacinth orchid, it's a purple little flower, a kangaroo grass. And um, I picked this leaf just to take it back to identify it properly because juvenile um, trees have a very similar leaf to a lot of other trees. We're also using these cameras um, to, to, to capture um, you know, different types of animals and stuff like that. We've got them up in the trees, we've yep. got them down in logs, we've got them on the ground. And we're also using this, this bait. With this, it's a, it's a mixture of oats and peanut butter and sardines right. and stuff like that. Some places we're actually getting the, the honey and we're smearing it on trees and on yep. logs and stuff like that, just so we can capture that, um, you know, those little small animals, so some possums and some little bush rats and stuff like that. I can't wait to see what we get on the cameras. I reckon it's going to be awesome. Out of running pruning sessions like today, we're not going to only have um, cultural sites officers, you know, identifying cultural artefacts and scar trees and stuff like that. We're actually going to be able to have people that can go out and do flora fauna surveys. And with those flora fauna surveys, um, you know, that will include, you know, looking at the animals that are actually within the landscape, plant animal relationships, and linking it to, you know, to how, you know, farmers and land managers manage their, like, their land. It's great for us and our group to get back on to country and especially using new practices and new methods on how to look after the land and that and that's ultimately what we all want to do. We have our general knowledge of things that's been passed down to us but with you guys coming out and funding and everything gives us a lot more to learn from. I'm a big supporter on um, cultural connection and people that are, that are learning about you know flora fauna um, plant animal relationships, cultural site IDs, um, cultural burning needs to be on country from where they come from and that's what this is. Good to always get back out on land, yep. especially locally. Yep.